A brand new GMRS HT has been revealed by Oshang. Ocean. Waxun. Wuxian. One of them. This video is sponsored by Buy2ARadios.com, which carries a full line of ham radios, marine radios, FRS, GMRS, CB, and even commercial band radios. I keep a listing on my website at hamradio2.com slash affiliates and deals with links to various radios that I have either discussed or reviewed on this channel. Shop Buy2ARadios.com and tell them that Ham Radio 2.0 sent you. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in ham radio, but GMRS Radio also, there's a brand new radio from Oshang, I'm just going to say it Oshang, called the KG935G Plus. They've added the Plus model, the older model was just the KG935G, they've added the Plus model, and they've made more upgrades to this model than they have to previous models of upgraded Plus models if you know what I mean. This is the page where the radio is for sale. You can see it's $169 in stock. You can see it's the big screen with the dark background and uh, white and colored text, which I think is easier on the eyes. I think it's a little bit easier to see. It might make it a, a touch harder to see outdoors in really bright sunlight, but you know what? They're, uh, the Oshang models of screen that have the white background are also see, uh, hard to see in the sunlight. Advanced features, maximum performance, extra durability. What more could you ask for? Why the Plus, of course? The KG935G Plus delivers everything you would expect from the Plus model and more designed with some serious power. So I reached out to Danny, who is the owner of Buy Two Way Radios, and he sent me this link on Reddit, which I think is very useful to check out. So let's check out this link on Reddit here. I'll share this in the description below as well. We've been working on this refresh of the KG935G for a while and we're happy to announce it's ready. We think there are a few pretty significant enhancements, including the adding of USB-C charging support to the battery. Awesome. That is freaking cool, okay? Any of these radios that have USB-C charging, I would consider to be more off-grid capable. If you have U if you have some sort of USB charging, whether it be USB-C or micro USB, even regular USB, it is going to be much more off-grid capable because that way you can take it into the field and take a charging brick, which you're probably gonna have with you anyway for your smartphone, maybe for a Garmin uh, inReach or something like that. So this radio will charge off the same type connection. I think that's a really good upgrade. Channel wizard to quickly and easily add a new channel or edit an existing one from the keypad. Hold menu to launch right there. Hold menu to launch. Improved weather alerts. Completely, re They've been completely revamped. Activating this feature no longer interferes with scan mode. Multiple notification types are available when this alert is issued, such as having a siren play, pulsing the flashlight, or just activating the weather channel. Additional themes, 10 in total. Additional themes. Okay, I guess you can change like the look of it and whatnot. Louder speaker with clearer audio, audio brighter LED flashlight. LED flashlights on radios are kind of meh. That's just my opinion. Some people like them. That's okay. Favorite channels. Mark channels as favorites and quickly access them with the PF key. PF quick key guide quickly brings up the screen, reminding you that functions your PF keys are assigned to. Accessible by holding down the exit key. Okay. The message shown on the non-active area when dual mode TDR is off can be customized with area message setting and programming software. All right, I haven't tinkered with that at all. Top message is now center, that's good. Bright PF, bright plus PF key option was added to quickly increase the active display brightness. See, I'm always, I'm always looking to change display brightness on lots of radios because they, well, because I'm often recording videos about lots of radios, having a bright screen on the camera is challenging. Most of you aren't going to do that. Most of you don't care. But I think having a dimmable screen and a, an adjustable backlight on a screen is very important. I, th I like that feature in any radio, honestly. Improve the process of entering text via the keypad. P1, PF1 and PF2 can now be used to move forward and backwards and up, down, changes character. Select battery, display indicator as new battery type function. Choose from icon voltage or percentage. Oh, cool. So it'll show you percentage of battery. That's kind of neat. New menu added to display for voltage demand. The band button now has been renamed to area. This radio is available in three variations, a single radio, a two pack with a zipper case or a deluxe kit. Okay, I will share links to all of those in the description below. For anyone that already owns a KG935G or 905G, 
This is a USB-C battery is available separately and will work on those models as well. What do you know? Okay, so this brand new battery that's chargeable via USB-C will work on the older 935G, the 905G, as well as the ham radio models, the UV8 Hotel and the UVN1, which is a DMR HT. So that's a step in the right direction and a good choice of battery that is universal across many models. So that's a brand new GMRS HT from Oshang, available at buy2wayradios.com. Check the link in the description below and put a comment below. Let me know what you think about this upgrade, what features you like, and what possibly what features you'd like to see in a newer upgrade. What do you think it's missing? Comment below. Thanks for watching.